Joining us now, Miranda Devine, New York Post columnist and Fox News contributor. Miranda, surprisingly not higher. Yes, but except to remember that um, half the country has uh, is sort of slaves to the media organs of their choice, which is the New York Times and the Washington Post, and they're telling them that Joe Biden's fantastic and that the Democrats didn't want to defund the police and it's the Republicans' fault that um, there's crime and that uh, the FBI is just wonderful. So that's why. Um, I think it's amazing that two-thirds of Americans have actually got the message that this revered institution, the FBI, which for so many decades has been uh, ha had amazing good PR, partly because they have a PR department that makes sure that movies and television programs portray them in the best light, um, that people have woken up to the fact that the FBI is no longer doing what it should be doing and going after the bad guys, but it's been weaponized to act for one side of politics against their political opponents. And Miranda, 75% of Americans are not Republican, right? So these are Republicans, Democrats, and independents that have to say the, the yep. FBI is politicized to get to a number of 75%. Yeah, and uh, I think that there have been so many um, sort of catastrophic mistakes by the FBI over time, and they all build up, uh, you know, whether it's Waco or... Um, Ruby Ridge and so on, and those didn't really hit the public consciousness, consciousness. But now we're seeing Christopher Wray being hauled before hearings and asked questions about why pro-lifers have been targeted and had FBI raids. You've had um, FBI whistleblowers have come out um, and and told about the weaponization that they've seen, where Trump supporters are targeted for raids and. Uh, you know, criminals are sort of left alone because of that opportunity cost. Um, and then you've got the entire Twitter files and the suppression uh, censorship of the New York Post's uh, Hunter Biden story back before the 2020 election. The FBI was involved in that. And I think, you know, all of, all of these uh, points of light put together, these data points, um, just create a, an image and a narrative and a picture of the FBI as not being what it pretends to be, regardless of, uh, you know, Christopher Wray's smooth exterior and the great, P very expensive PR operation they have. Because remember, American taxpayers pay ten million dollars a year, billion dollars a year, sorry, uh, to to prop up this enormous bureaucracy that has so much power. Um, power it was supposed to do good with and, and keep crime down and keep terrorists away and, and do something about drugs being brought in over the border. Uh, they don't seem to be doing any of those tasks, but they've been extremely busy targeting conservatives. Mm -hmm. Right, writing a memo in the Richmond office targeting Catholics. Uh, again, mismanagement yeah. from top to bottom. Democrats, meantime, rather than worrying about uh, malfeasance, and stepping on the First Amendment by the FBI, instead pressuring journalists in the Twitter files to reveal their sources in this heated exchange. This, this is a question of sourcing, and I don't give them. I'm it's a journalist. A, I don't a reveal my sources. Source. It's a question of chronology. No, that's a question because of sourcing. Earlier... Yes, and I refer to that person as a source. So you're not going to tell us when Musk first approached you? Again, Congressman, when you're you asking me to, yes you're no? asking a journalist to reveal so a source. So then you consider Mr. Musk to be the direct source of all this? No, now you're, you're trying to get me to say that he is the source. That was, in essence, these Congress people dropping trow and showing their backsides, Miranda. I mean, that was extraordinary. The entire hearing with the Democrats. Uh, attacking these two liberal journalists. These are Democrats. They are not Republicans. They are not, they don't work for Fox News or the New York Post. Um, and what they're trying to do is explain to Congress how damaging and dangerous it is that you have the government intervening with social media to uh, censor free speech of Americans, anything that dissents from the government, whether it be about the botched Afghanistan withdrawal, about COVID-19 vaccines or Biden family corruption. 
Uh, it doesn't matter. It's all, as they said, it's left-wing publications, it's left-wing people, it's right-wingers. It, it doesn't matter. Anyone who dissents from the establishment line got pinged. And the Democrats uh, don't seem to care about the First Amendment. They don't seem to care about free speech. Uh, they just wanted to destroy the credibility of these two liberal journalists who, who should be on their side. But what that showed you, and they were idiots. I mean, they didn't understand what Substack was. Um, one of them called uh, the two journalists, Matt Taibbi and Michael Schellenberger, so-called journalists. I mean, they're decorated, uh, well-known, well-established careers. Um, so they just looked like fools, and the two journalists ran rings around them. Um, but really, the disturbing, overarching impression you have there is that um, this is a, a party that is completely beholden to the deep state and they are in lockstep with the FBI, uh, with whatever other government agencies there are, to um, censor Americans and to impinge on their freedoms. And that's absolutely terrifying. It's authoritarian. It's the worst of the worst that we've seen in China and Russia and elsewhere around the world. Miranda, thank you so much.